Hello there, Mike. How you doing, mate? <coughs> Yes. Silly. Hello there, Ben H. I accepted your friend request on um, Steam, by the way, Ben. I got it just through a little while ago. I'm doing fantastic, Mike. Absolutely spiffing. <coughs> Having a jolly good old time with this new um, beta. But I say that, I haven't actually used much of the new stuff on it yet anyway. I've seen that one. Why is this guy struggling? Um, thank you. We are still meeting up on Sunday on ETS Multiplayer. Yes, we should do, mate. I should hopefully be there. The missus is at work all day, so I should be on me on me top that day. So I should have no distractions. Runaway vehicle only. Oh yeah. Runaway truck ramp. Is that new? That's a new thing, never seen that before. Oh, 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 what's that? What's that mean? What's that? Did I get a ticket? What's that noise? That's a new noise. I don't like change. What was that? Did I get paid or did I loot? What? What's going on here? I ain't got any drivers, have we? I ain't got any drivers. What was that noise? What was that noise? I got more money than what I had, so I've been given something, I think. Bang, that's something my. Oh, fuck. What was that? Was that a pay and loan? No idea. I don't know what that noise was. I didn't, didn't like that noise. <coughs> And this is something in the update notes that they'd changed something with the the coin noise or something. No idea. Let's carry on. Um, where should I meet you? And when will you play it? Um, I should be on a, about midday. 
maybe a little bit earlier I'm not sure um, and where anywhere mate if you pick somewhere I'll make sure I'm there because on my um, profile I can't jump between garages because um, I don't own it I don't own many because I do I do all legitimately I ain't got enough money to start buying um, garages yet so if you pick somewhere now wherever you want to go I'll meet you there easy peasy I'll make sure the truck's in the right position <coughs> How about London? I'm going to be server 2. Yeah, London's fine by me. And yeah, it'll be server 2. Yep, I'll pre warn you, I don't do speed. I don't rush around like crazy. None of you seen the videos I do. I don't. I stick to the truck speed limit. But the maximum limit. I speed a bit on like, the country roads, but I don't speed in the cities and I don't um, speed on the. Um, motorways but look what I'm doing here now I'm sticking to the speed limit oh, yeah. hello Jeff welcome to the stream Jeff how are you Jeffrey Um, did my engine just die? Yeah, it did. I'm out of fuel! Um, right, let's see if I can coast this to a fuel station. Ah, <laughs> shit. This ain't gonna be easy. Oh, no. No, I'm not gonna do it, am I? Nope, I'm gonna go past. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, come on, let me do it. Come on, coast, 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 coast. Uh, no the entrance as well, but coast, 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 coast. No power steering. <laughs> I did not. Oh, I always seem to be able to do this. Right. Uh, Sam, I'm going to take my time. We can talk to each other as well. Yeah, cool. Uh, good, thanks. Hope you feel better. Thanks. How are you? Oh yeah, I do feel a lot better, mate. Um, hold on, let me just fill this up. I can think of, think of what I'm going to say. Then. Lovely. Um, yeah, apologies for that. Um, from the weekend, I didn't get much sleep. It was all go, go, go for certain things. Um, haven't been able to catch up with sleep because of my early shift. I have to be up nice and early. Um, I don't sleep well at night at the moment because we're in the new house, so I ain't quite adjusted to it yet. Um, so when I got home yesterday, I actually slept from about half two, about half two. I fell asleep, I had a nice long nap, um, until about half four when the missus got home. And then we um, had some dinner and I thought I'd chill out. We sat down and we talked and we uh, talked about... Um, uh, talk about you know, we were thinking about decorating the living room, so we were looking at doing that. So it was almost chilled out, even which was nice. I needed it. Okay. Um, da -da -da -da. Hello, Brad. Welcome to the stream, buddy. How are you? Um, ben H, can I have Teamspeak or Discord code? I don't have either, mate. That's the problem. Um, if you want to do like a one-to-one -one chat, we can do it on um. Steam chat if you want. Um, yeah, uh, I don't have TeamSpeak or Discord code. I can look into getting it, as long as it's going to be used. But at the moment, I'm not really too fussed. So we could do it over like Steam chat or something like that. Unless you know a TeamSpeak or a Discord, then we'll then we'll do that. 
Right, let's carry on, 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 let's get on. Um, whilst people are here, is anyone interested in knowing what the new updates are, or the main updates are for this beta? If you are, just let me know and I'll run through them quickly whilst we're on the road. Right, I sort myself out because I've actually gone in the wrong way to this uh, gas station. Let's back out the right way. Okay, Brad, right. I'm back in a second. Uh, if you got on the highway, then I'll, I'll run through them and I can concentrate on what I'm going to say then. Right, so it is for ATS at the moment. It's not out for Euro Truck at the moment. That'll be out later in the week. So SCSA. The main updates for ATS, which is the 1.6 beta. Um, obviously, if you want it, you have to uh, change your um, beta settings and the properties on Steam on the game. But the main things that they've added is a liftable axle on the trailer which I'm... Oh, I forgot I need to sleep now shit and the other thing they've added is a diff lock which would be very handy, we'll go for that in a second um, there's a little blue thing you see on my dash which um, I can't really... it's down no, down there in the middle of the dash like a little blue square thing, that's a new thing and that is a weight pass dash adapter I think yeah no wait no wait part weight pass dash something like that I can't remember what I put now I didn't write it down very well but basically that's um, a thing that calls you in for a uh, when you go to the Weybridge for people who don't want to have the thing pop up on their screen, they got that. It'd be like a little green light to say you've been dragged in, or a little red light to say you don't need to be dragged in. That's a new thing. Um, as far as I can tell, that's on every truck. I didn't choose that on there, that was already on there. Um, one second, I just want to do something. One second, guys. Sorry about that. Just want to close the door because I think the missus is going to be home soon. Don't really want her listening to me blasting away. Um, a couple of other things that have changed um, that are not so noticeable. Uh, one's an improved engine simulation. So then something that changes like um, RPM, fuel consumption, yada yada yada. Um, and there's an adaptive transmission. Uh, changes as well. There's now an eco setting, a standard setting, or a normal setting, sorry, and a power setting. Um, I don't know if there's a way of changing that. I can't see, I can't find that. There's no buttons. Um, I'll quickly go through the buttons for you because if you do update your game, your ATS game, you need to know that there's certain buttons as well. So I'll quickly run through them. Um, what are they under? I think there's one on the gameplay. I think there's something on the gameplay. I'm sure there's something on the gameplay. I'm sure I set it. Um, or was there not? So the transmission, the, sit, the thing on the transmission hasn't changed. I don't know. Um, if if this power thing changes it by itself, I don't know. I'll read that in a second, Mike. Whatever you're saying there, son. I'll get to that in a second. <laughs> uh, 
uh, keys and buttons. So um, so when you update your game and you want to use uh, trailer, uh, lift or drop trailer axle, what you need to do is um, you need to actually set a button first. If they don't preset you when you to get that to work. You have to press. You have to set something. I've just set mine as P because it wasn't uh, set to anything else. Um, and my differential lock that was that's already preset. SES set that for you, and that's set to V. <clears throat> Which that's going to be a problem for um a multiplayer because V is your talk button, I believe, for the in-game mic. People might have to change that about. But yeah, V for your diff lock. So let's drive along. Let's have a chat about these different things. Oh, no, no, there, was, there was something else. What was the other thing? Options. There's another little thing on the online thing that just gives you basically options you had previously and else other places now put into this online section. In my eyes, they're going to add to this and increase what is in there already. So that's something for you. <coughs> Um, there's other little minor changes elsewhere. Um, what else was there? What the changes were there? There was things like sounds and uh, there's other things for mods as well. But I'm not too fussed about them. They're little changes you'll never notice really. Let's carry on. Right, okay, so that thing beeps at you as well. You can see a little red light on it now, on that thing down there. That's now got a red light, so I'm not being called in. Is there a rest stop? I don't think there's a rest stop there anyway, so I can't stop. Yeah, I need to get to a rest stop as well, so let's pick that quickly. That's coming up after this anyway. Hey, what did you say, Mike? Sorry, what did you say? Uh, so I am going to say this, but I have been doing a prank for the longest time. This is my father's old account. I would use my own, but I am too busy. Right. So is your name Mike, or is it not called? Or is your name not Mike? Who are you? Just call me Bastian. <laughs> I like, I've always liked that name, Bastion. I've always loved that name, I don't know why. And I have a new challenge for you. What is that new challenge? Um. What have I been done for? I gotta follow him in there. That's where I'm going anyway. Where did that? I don't know what the hell. I don't know what the hell that was all about. All right, let's go for a sleep. Huh? Right. One second, guys. Um, my missus just come home. I'll be back in one second. I'll see you then. Have a chat with her. Back in a second. Right, I'm back. <sighs> right. Uh, where are we at? Nice train, let's go to the game. Oh, excuse me, right. Did I sleep? I didn't sleep, did I? Shit, I left it running. Sleep. Right. And it's raining, fantastic. What people have been saying? That was a front prank. No, anyway, I'm still thinking about what the challenge should be. 
So I might say later, right? Maybe in Australia. But it was not part of the prank, that was true. Lol. I have to go and make some food, so I will see you later. Anyway, I hope you're not mad about prank. Not really? No? <laughs> right, let's carry on. Get the lights on. Oh, too many. Bastion, welcome back. Assuming your real name is Bastion, I have no idea what to believe. What's this prank you're talking about? Yeah, talking about the these updates. Like the liftable axle one, I can't understand that one. Hello. ETS two, I can understand that being correct, being that because there are more traders that are more three axle traders. In ATS, most of the axles are three axle, um, are two axle. There's some exception for three axle, but the really most axle I think is a steered axle, so you wouldn't lift that. So that makes no sense. This is real time, right? Real time? Yeah, this is real time. I think so. Pretty sure it's real time. I don't not stuck in a endless time loop. And the diff lock I can definitely understand because when you get into like your quarries and your um <coughs> your looser terrain, softer terrain, then the diff lock is definitely needed. Plus, that will be on ETS as well. All these updates, by the way, are going to be on ETS as well when it comes out later in the week. Diff lock is definitely. Um, if you don't know what diff lock is, basically it locks the two, locks all the drive axles together, so you'll spin at the same time rather than spin at different um, rates. If you end up getting a wheel spin on uh, a drive axle, the weakest wheel will always wheel spin. So if the if you get a wheel spin in one wheel, all the power will go through that wheel, and you'll lose all the power that goes to all the other wheels. That's where you get a wheel spin. Basically, your diff lock prevents that. It just locks all the wheels together, stops them from diverting power out. So you can understand why that allows to have better traction. Um, the weight pass thing on the dash, obviously, I think this one's just limited to ATS. I don't think it'll do anything similar to that on. ETS, I don't need to, but yeah, that's a good idea, it's more immersive, it's more realistic, it doesn't really get in the way, you can't even see it at night time, it's quite nice. Um, the gearbox settings, I'm not sure about them, they'll be, I don't know really, you can't select them, I'm assuming they're automatic, or maybe they're, um, I've just done manual gearboxes, so I don't know. I would have thought if there was um, eco and power options, they'd be on automatic gearboxes, because you can do eco and power selections anyway. That's why it's a manual gearbox. Um, and the improved engine simulation, we don't really know, so they're quite, a, quite important, but you don't really no, notice them. Um, I might buy this game, do you recommend it? Um, I do recommend it, but personally I recommend ETS2 over this game. Um, it's a far more refined and um, 
more of a, more of a, a refined game. It's got a bigger map, more trucks to choose from, more options, more packs, more DLC. <clears throat> Oh, this one of the DLC pack maps is bigger than this map, basically. All the maps you, all the maps you have on here. So Nevada, Arizona, and uh, Nevada, Arizona, and California. So I would recommend ETS2 over this one, but this one's still a good game if you want to get this one. I wouldn't say no. pretty much every update that ETS2 gets this will get with a few changes to include like American law like your your weight pass your um, waybridge pass Uh, yes, yeah, so when this update does come out for the ETS2 later in the week, I will get around to doing a live stream on it. It might not be as it comes out like I've been able to do today, it'll probably be another day. Maybe at the weekend. And we'll go through all the things in there. I haven't been able to find a a liftable axle trailer on it and eight on American truck yet. I don't know if there are any. Might have to wait for to get the bigger trailers. But on ETS2, I know there's definitely some trailers that they would have a liftable axle on them. But they will be definitely more easier to find. And um, I will eventually be doing a video on on this new sport that I've taken up uh, called Airsoft. I actually have my gun back. I sent my gun away to be repaired. Um, I played a game recently and it got packed and um, it packed up. So I've had it repaired. So I've got it back. We're going to have a good look at it and I'll do a little video on it. That'll be soon, hopefully. Hopefully, try and record that before the weekend. Mrs. Mate is now off to say goodbye. <laughs> right. Let's finish this off. Bastion, sorry. It's been nice talking to you again.
See you there, Basson. Thanks for coming along. It's nice knowing your true name. Makes me feel closer to you. Creepy sort of person. Once you get to know me. Challenge. Job's are good. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, let's do that. Yep. Apply. Cool. Right, so that was basically the live stream. That was a nice, quiet, chilled out one. Um, I think this stream has been not action packed, but it's been enough to, I think, to put a, put it public. So we'll put, we'll put this one public. Um, so yeah, ETS2 will have this very similar update coming out as well. I don't know what it's going to be. I think it's 1.27 or 1.28, something along those lines. <clears throat> when it's out, I'll make sure it works. But, um, we'll try and do a live stream as soon as I can. I think it's going to be, be on the day it comes out, because I'm pretty much busy for the next few days. Um, but I'll try and do it as soon as possible. Also, it's going to be an airsoft video as well, so I'll show you my gun. And, um, Talk about airsoft, tell you what it is, and then, yeah, maybe you guys can find a new sport as well. Because it is fucking a good sport, it's good, really good. But anyway, guys, that is it for now. Thank you all very much for watching, and I shall talk to you all very soon. Bye bye.